Victoria's Secret. So I'm like, oh, wow, nice. It's for Pink. It's a commercial for VSP. I'm not saying that you would change my life, but what I'm saying is you make me come alive. I'm not saying that you are just my type, but what I'm saying is you make me come alive. They held an audition, castings uh, to LA. So basically, it was booked in LA, and then they got a call. I got a call back, but I pretty much going to pass the the screen, and then they will call you back if they want you. And then, and then you know, like after I think a day, my agency called me like, oh hey, you book book uh, Victoria's Secret. So I'm like, oh wow, nice. It's for Pink. It's a commercial for VS Pink. Um, so Victoria's Secret models and Victoria's Secret angels, those that walk in the fashion show, they have a different casting for that. So, so ako ang ginawa ko lang is yung sa pink. But of course, that's the goal. I want to be there. Who doesn't? But, but yeah. But what I did, it's just officially for VS Pink. How surprised are you that nakakuha ka again? Well, mahirap talaga siya. <laughs> mahirap siya kasi madaming madaming models and madaming actors. And and the audition for VS Pink, it's not just. It's not just still shots, you know. It's more of acting. So they gave scenarios during the callback. So mahirap tapos nung time pa ng callback, minakita pa ako ng kakilala ko sa so parang di ba tense kana nila? Eh. Parang oh my gosh, I know you. So if you don't, and pareho pa kami ng ethnicity, so you know that they'll get different ethnicities. So it's it's either she gets it or I get it. You know, you know that feeling. So so mahirap na ka. I was like. Uh, so I think your call back is afternoon, and then I waited the next day, and I don't think they called the next day. I think they called the other day, and I, and I thought I wasn't gonna get it, but I'm like, ah, oh, because um, and then at night, pato mawag yung agent ko like around seven, so so I was really like not hoping anymore. Like I lost na yung hope na I got it, but God is good, so I got it. So yeah, it's it's pretty tough. I mean, because you're competing with a lot of people, you know, and and yeah, they get different ethnicities, but per ethnicity, how many actors are there? How many models are there? Especially in LA, and it's kind of hard to break. So, so yeah, sobrang saya ko nung na nabalita ako nung kahit na hindi ako yung lead. It's 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 different because at least my exposure, my camera, you know, my pinakita pa rin yung mukha ko dun sa commercial. So it's for me, it's a big thing. I mean, if if you're in LA and if you're if you're like competing with a lot of actors, just just one even a feature role is very important. And and of course even in even in castings, you know, they always ask, Oh, so what is your background? And I always say, Oh, I'm Filipino. And to be honest, they I would I would I'm not Nagyaya Bang, but but uh, a lot of casting directors and a lot of them they really like the beauty, they really like Filipino beauty and I'm happy about that. And how much do you think of your experience at LA Nakatulo say you're doing the audition here? Uh, no, the audition was in LA. Actually. That's LA, LA. Yeah, okay. it was in LA. Everything was shot in LA. Everything was in LA. Mm -hmm. It was just released this August, so uh -huh. nandito na ako, ah, which is okay. good. Um, well, I think LA helped a lot in terms of um, just just the whole living in the US thing. You know, what I mean, just the whole how it is in the US, like how the castings are. And how your look should be, kind of, because I got used to the Philippines that I have full makeup. Mm -hmm. Now I'm like, this is it. Like, of course I put foundation, of course I put eyebrows and mascara, but they don't like it so much. Pag super makeup, so, so talagang they wanna see your face as it is, because dun na nila it will work it. Kung ano gusto nilang maging for the role, so. Yeah. So yeah. shooting the commercial itself, I mean, how was how was it like? How would you describe the experience of you know doing it? Now? It was super fun. Although it was it was a whole day shoot. The call time was I think six thirty a.m. and then I ended like around eight p.m. or nine p.m. It was a whole day shoot. But I mean, it's my passion. Being on camera, I love it. So I don't care if it's like a whole day or a whole night. I, I enjoyed it. And naging ka close ko pa yung mga nakasama ko sa sa, sa commercial and. We're still in contact, and we're like, oh, let's do something when I get back in LA. So, so it was but fun. Now you're in New York, and in Golden Age in New York. Well, of course, um, bigger um, campaigns, you know, more more jobs now for big brands, and of course, if I, if I'd be given the chance to get into casting, so uh, so fa VS Fashion Show, that would be amazing. But it's it's just hard to to, to know to crack. I don't know how. I don't know. 
people who can bring me in there. So, so we'll see about that. But yeah, I think that that's the main goal is to be more known in the modeling industry here in the US. Here it's a lot of commuters out of walk and I like that. But it's, yeah, and sometimes like you go to six, seven castings a day and you won't get anything. And, and that's a tough part. You know, it's like, oh my gosh, how many castings have I been to already? And still you don't get a call or you don't get a call back. And sometimes it's really depressing, you know, and right now, especially right now, I'm alone here. My friends are in LA, my best friend, he's in upstate New York. So, so you know, if you're alone and you go home alone, although I have a roommate, but come on, I don't, I don't know her. He's all, she's always gone as well. So it's just a mixture of everything, like emotions. And it's like, oh shoot, I'm not, I'm not booking jobs. So what's going on? So, you know, it's, it's, it's hard, but, but at the same time, it's, it's something that you wouldn't want to give up on. You know what I mean? It's like, you still want to keep on pushing it and doing more and just working hard for it and who knows you know? and you're living in New York mm -hmm. <laughs> so. I love New York like New York is like Europe and uh, like in architecture and everything and, and I love that and just walking around walking syllabus while commuting and I love it so much to be honest there's so much to do like you, know, you can go when you go see on Broadway you'll see Phil Phil mm -hmm. on Broadway and yep. all the and you know, I mean, um, there's so much to do in New York. Mm -hmm. So, new, is there anything particular that you want to do in New York that you've been dreaming of before it can happen? You mean um, in terms of work or in terms of fun? Oh, in fun, man. Oh, I, I, well, definitely Broadway shows. <laughs> I mean, I, I love watching it. And it's just that, you know, you know, it's pretty expensive if you're just gonna buy it normally. But because before I watched Book of Mormons, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. and <laughs> and now I just want to watch more and more because I love watching plays, I love watching musicals. So. <laughs> because like height I'm not that tall and you know it's it's just a different market although I although I go to castings for a walk I actually got an event on 15 for yeah for, for a brand and um, but but yeah my agency sent me to, to commercial and they also sent me to runways so it just depends you know like but I, I, I like anything I like everything actually so Eventually, like, so my plan is, my plan is like, so I want to do modeling, like, for now, I'm pushing it and all those stuff, and if I get bigger, I would eventually transition into acting, because I, I, I've done it in LA, and I love it, like, it, out, acting for me, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's an outlet for me, like, I, I'm very, I'm a very contained, emotionally contained person, so, so, pag nasa school ako for acting, I, Parang dun ko na lalabas lahat eh. so, so eventually I would really try and like go into acting. It's just that right now, of course, you focus on one. You know what I mean? But but yeah, eventually that's that's definitely one of the goals, like to get into Hollywood and be casted, even your series, your my favorite series, you know, like oh that would be fun, and then movies eventually. So so yeah, definitely, I I, I love acting. So one last question. So that kind of struggles I think what keeps you going with what makes it all worth it in the I don't know. I mean everyday struggles that. Well I think it's it's purpose in general, you know, it's it's just that it's it's waking up every morning and just saying that why 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 am I here? What am I here for? If you're just gonna do things for for money or for fame, then I think that's 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 not a right way to live. It's more like uh, I have this gift, I, I have this personality or face or, whatever, or however and I might as well use it for something that I know I can be useful <laughs> or something that I know I have a purpose in. So so yeah, for me, I think it's purpose. There's a lot of people you can reach through this industry and a lot of people you can influence and inspire. So let's keep going. Every year we say goodbye to our graduating class with a commencement speech. It's time you were given a free commencement speech. So listen up, my advice to you is this. Work less, sleep more. Great ideas come when you are relaxed. March to your own offbeat beat, because only you can do you. Take a chance, don't be afraid to innovate. 
the world depends on creative minds. Have no regrets, wear the sweats. You only do college once. This is the best time of your life. You will never be stronger, faster, or more fearless. So make the most of your next four years. Your future looks bright. You made my day. You made my day. You made my day. Day. You made my day. You made my day. You made my day.